Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to part 3 of my Alexander Oslan Sandriot's blind playthrough throughout the Dream of the Demon in the game called Neo 2 The Complete Edition. With dual swords and heavy armor. I did some changes um, before I started today's stream. Mainly, uh, I have managed to get more samurai skill points and I have also binded it to my skills that is uh, spinning dragon, sign of the cross, water swords and yes I, I also have hot water sword and god of the wind just the master for slice thing, damage boost heart, damage boost constitution and damage boost courage what else I wanted to share? Oh, uh, the fact that I have changed the setup when it comes to Omnio magic and I am going to Prepare my Jutsu, my Omnio Magic, right about now. I'll show you what I have planned. Basically, I wanted to increase my chance to actually proccing Confusion to the best of my abilities. And to actually do this, I would want to have Water Talisman with me. But first things first, let's do all the variable shortcuts, protection talisman, set it here, then don't want any extraction talisman no more, I want lighting familiar talisman. Here I also want the talisman which procs, which gives my weapon some water. Here, I obviously want weakness. Mm, the question is, what else do I want to put here? Weakness, reju oh yeah, rejuvenation and barrier. My bad. Mm. I think I... Is it level 3 though? Rejuvenation costs a lot. Let me actually double check. Have I leveled it up everything correctly? In terms of learning those skill points, let's see. Rejuvenation is on level 3. Uh, weakness is on level 3. Weakness takes a lot of space. That's why I cannot fit everything that I wanted. Protection talisman. Yeah, I got protection talisman. That's right. And lighting familiar all the way to level 3. Yeah, set it up everything correctly. Well, then I just need to tone down a bit the number of usages that I have. Okay, let's go back towards the shrine. Ready Jutsu. Rejuvenation and barrier. Hmm. I say I decrease, I will decrease. Uh, Weakness Talisman Charge and Protection Talisman up to 2 from 3. Protection is at the bottom if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there it is. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's because instead of Protection Talisman I should have uh, put... Yeah, my mistake. Instead of this I should have put Steel Talisman. Now I remember it. Sure, I have some spare points. This will this will definitely allow me to fit everything that I want. At least I hope so. <laughs> um So rejuvenation up to 3. And same thing with barrier. Rejuvenation, weakness, barrier, quick change, lighting, familiar, water. Um, what if I do steel talisman? Hmm. 
What what happens if I apply some extra charge in terms of weakness? Let's see. Oh, it's all right. Sexual I, rejuvenation up to four. Wait a second. Wait a second. I need to tone it down a bit. Three. It's more than enough. And then steel talisman. All right, now I'm ready. Ready to go onwards. What I'm planning to actually do at the beginning is complete a bunch of Twilight missions, Wings of the Phoenix and Defiled Sanctuary. It should reward me with some good experience as well as gear. At least I hope so. Uh, let's try the Defiled Sanctuary first. I have struggled a bit in terms of the damage department from um, the previous parts of my playthrough and fingers crossed right now it should be way easier to activate not only confusion but to do a little bit more damage than I was doing before. Oh yeah, it's gonna be gauntlet straight at the beginning. Okay, is this thing set it up correctly? Yep. And when it comes to the rest of the rest of the stuff, right? And this, yeah, everything has been set up correctly. Alrighty then, here we go. Tiger running, quick change, barrier rejuvenation, water sword. Let's go. have a champion nope you missed I think we traded with each other but I actually did not receive any damage. Ah, <laughs> oh boy. Here we go again with those grabs. Yo, stupid chairs. Let me actually pass. she's actually on the floor <laughs> that's actually bad so it would be more beneficial for me to just perform like I always do sign of the cross and then an execute move afterwards instead of doing this water sword stuff damn who would have thought Immediately got one level up. Uh, I believe here there's gonna be another gauntlet. Oh, 
Oh, and I totally forgot about the weakness. My bad. Almost paralyzed. Dude, come on, stop. There we go. I did this on purpose to avoid getting grabbed. Holding block game. I swear there's like a delay right after you're doing your attacks, even in mid stands, that prevents you from immediately holding block. This is why I took some unnecessary hits from the Cyclops. Snowclops. At least when it comes to bigger enemies, I'm not whiffing my attacks when they're lying on the ground. Every hit counts. Alrighty then, so the shrine is directly below me. Or is it? Yeah, but I guess there's gonna be another gauntlet. Okay, one enemy down. Another gauntlet. My bad. It's not over. Interesting.
No key. Wait, what? Where's my burst counter? The game literally robbed me. Like, I see the implication of using Quarter Sword over the Sign of the Cross and then some other stuff, but the damage it's still, even when it comes to weakness and conf it's not necessarily like super great or anything like this. Despite the fact that I maxed out hearts all the way up to 99 from this difficulty and I bind it to the Water Sword, it's, it's alright. It's nothing spectacular from my opinion. Anyway, this Twilight mission had been completed. Now I'll go to the next one. Twilight Master? Really? Uh, is there any useful items? Only plus 12. Mines are on plus... Uh, 14 already oh finally finally better hand cannon thank god took me ages to find it. <laughs> plus 14 I got another scroll of the demon but I do not wish to do any any sort of purification for it right now I would rather go to the blacksmith. Well, first and foremost, I'll give her the recipe. Or this wooden sword <laughs> that I've got. I want to temper some of my stuff. Specifically, armor. Not weapons, but armor. Um... The question is what I actually want. I, I want, like, can I actually get more, what you call it, not elemental damage, mm. health, you know, conversion from Amrita to health. How is this called again? I, I do have it on one of my piece of equipment. Uh, no, that's not it. Maybe it's on dual source, like I'll show it to you what I'm talking about. Not life drain. Dude, I completely forgot how this thing is called exactly. Uh, let's try it out to find it. No, it's not faster winded recovery. It's something else. Key recovery health or something? No, not Amrita converts to life, something like this.
Tenacity. Yeah, I believe it's purple stat. Can I even get it on my web on my armor or I can only get it on my weapons? Key recovery Amrita gauge. No, that's not it. Don't see the stats on my armor. From the ones that the game is offering to me. Yeah, I don't see it on the armor. Maybe it's on the weapon. Let's try out the weapon. I don't want any hand cannon damage. Where's my dual swords? The question is, do I even... Can I even change something? Life drain, final blow, damage bonus, Amrita gauge. Oh, wait. Attack bonus, constitution or stamina. What about heart? Saturation, accumulation, enemy. What... what? A water-based elemental effect, increased damage received from attacks, increase the rate at which your build up saturated elements. Okay, that's fine, but I don't think it's a good idea to bind it on the weapon. To have it on the weapon. Wait a second, that's the wrong stuff. <laughs> Here. Damage bonus equipment, light, attack bonus dexterity. A no, that's not it. Let's try something else. Moon Shadow, low active skill damage, that's also not something that I would want. Agility, magic, melee attack, key consumption. Attack bonus hard B. Uh, that would have been great if not for the fact that I think I think it could be better than B B minus. I'll try it some more. Courage and skill. See, like it's A plus courage and skill, but I want hard to be at A. Melee damage just increase. Melee attack key consumption. That's stamina. Constitution. Strength. Courage and magic A+. Plus. Nah, I want heart. Dexterity, agility. Watch how hard will be again at B. If that's the case, then I'll leave it at. Uh, no, attack bonus hard. Wait, 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 wait. A plus. Give me this. And instead of maybe melee key damage, oh, I don't have divine number side right now. So I guess I have to complete some more of those Twilight missions to get Divine Number Sight to begin with. Actually, not necessarily Twilight missions, it's just... It drops quite frequently in high-level missions. Alright. So, Wing of the Phoenix. Oh, is that the mission with the temple? Where you fight at the end, shoot and dodge? I guess that's the case. So this should definitely increase my damage. Like it increases attack based in your heart. I'm I have maxed out the heart. Like if this is not gonna do it, then I don't know how to approach it. Like from what kind of angle I need to approach the process of increasing my offense in this game.
I got, got her, lost some life, but that's totally fine. Okay, what about... Mm, don't want to attack him right now, to be honest. Uh, wrong button. <laughs> oh, champion, huh? See, like, only some attacks hit her. I wasn't able to finish her off. Okay, now we're talking. Still incredibly tanky, but hey, like, that's the mission that has 100 levels above me, the requirement of it. Right, now this thing. Where is it? What? Jesus Christ! The damage that <laughs> it was doing to me was insane, as if I was wearing light armor. Wow. Wait a second. Let me double check something. Yeah, I, I indeed set it up. Even through the Mystic Art passive, which gives me extra defense. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the other side. Kill another spider there. I don't care. At least I regenerated some of my HP back that I lost. Stupid scampus. Okay, red time. No, don't aggro both at me. You... I hate this. Now they both gonna run towards my direction, right? Or not. I'm totally fine with this, I have faster winded recovery. Right. Rats round two. Yep. 
Got him. It's not a problem to maintain pressure on those type of enemies. I mean... They are giving you plethora of opportunities to do so. No, I don't want to fight this. Get over here. Are you gonna kill here or what? Okay, you again. Should have used hand cannon. Still not optimal, but way better than the first one. <laughs> uh, rat champion. Okay. Don't care about the hammer blows, I see. I wasn't trying to heal myself from the healing potion. If I would have done such a thing, I would have been dead. It's as simple as that. Come on, now it's time to fight you. Need to get it away from the crystal. Yeah, take a look at heals. God. <sighs> My loot. Great. 
Really? Really? I cannot break it in time. What if I do this? Yeah, that's when you know when you don't have enough damage. <laughs> cannot even break crystals in time before they start to heal. <sighs> Knock down the tree, get the loot. I do have a dragon jewel, right? Yeah, let's put it immediately so that later on I won't have to return to this dragon statue for the second time. Dragon jewel used. Now let's go through the tree branch. Okay, big spider. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> At least I'm getting Camarita, but no reward when it comes to loot. Wah, wah. Gonna be dropping down. No way I'm fighting them both there. Another one falls. Come on. Well, that was pointless. I forgot that when it comes to second floor on the, in the Twilight mission, there will be no items here. It's only, if I'm not mistaken, in the main one. There's like a chest or a corpse that you can loot from. Right, now I'm gonna go to the, to, towards the other side. So many hand cannon rounds, are they expecting me to shoot like every single enemy here? Nah, that... This cannot be true. Got the waste card, and I am gonna go not from the central area first. I think I'll go first to my... to the left, and then to the right. Because of all the shortcuts that I would like to open and all the additional enemies that I would like to fight. Got him. Not a clean kill, but who cares? As one goes down, there will be a second one. It's either a ghost or a winged woman, if 
If I remember everything correctly from this mission. Okie dokie, but first let's kill this spider. At least he didn't fall. Although, that was incredibly close for him. <laughs> I believe, well, technically I can go here. Just to get the loot, but not right now, I'd say. That was a mistake. Now I have to finish him off before dropping down and fighting Corrupted Monk. Yep, just like this. Uh, wasn't there supposed to be another Gaki? I guess they replaced one extra Gaki with the champion. I'd rather fight the swing creature. See, against her it makes more sense to do uh, dual sign of the cross and then finish her off with an execute compared to every other enemy. Wait, what? Oh, really? If he reacted from there, okay. Uh, that was bad. I should have used hand cannon again. Missed. But not this time. There's supposed to be another spider. Uh, I guess it's not here. It's on, at the bottom. <laughs> Works as well. the title from him I also got some elixirs great I don't care about revenant graves containing scroll like no way I'm gonna fight them additionally also because I already have some scrolls with me one scroll of the demon I cleansed and I'm using it already there it is Mm, I need my charge, yep. Of course I have to, I will be returning back to this area. Uh, once I'll unlock a shortcut. On the previous difficulty there was... Mimic, yep. Again, I don't remember what exactly the gesture is.
Uh, that would have been a mistake. Tango Warrior. Yeah, I finally remembered his name. Okie dokie, more damage in terms of melee mastery, always great. Ah, no, it's her. Where the hell is he? He literally attacked in a completely wrong direction. <laughs> So I don't know what that what's up with that. Anyway. Wait, did I miss an enemy there? Can be. Really? I do remember that I've missed one chest. Let me double check something. Or is he... Yeah, I think he's below me on the third floor. Got the switch cleave. Now I can drop to get the item. Mm, not from this area. Need to circle around. There it is. Oh yeah, definitely worth it. Blue Kintaro's headband. Great. <laughs> if I remember everything correctly, there should be only a couple of encounters left before I'll get to the next shrine. Bye-bye, spider. Nice knowing you. Okie dokie. Well, I kind of want to get to the top and destroy the crystal first before actually going to fight a red cop, especially when he is empowered. Dude, I really missed an enemy over there. <laughs> Somehow. just charge forgot what kind of gesture you need to show here. Okay, angry one. And then I died. Uh, I tried to use a burst counter, I don't have any anima charge. Whoops, my mistake. <sighs> Mistakes were made. Well, thank god I opened a short I opened a bunch of shortcuts. 
hold on. Of course I'll use Summoner Candle, I don't wish to lose all this loot just like this. All the Samrita. Right, I guess I'll go straight at the center. I'll try to simply pass by those enemies. Am I going in the right direction? Nope, I'm not. I need to be on the other side. Stupid rat. You'll pay for this. Uh, nope. Let's go here. Don't fall. Whatever you do, don't fall down. There we go. Now let's just smash this crystal. Meanwhile, defeating this Gaki in the process. All right, you rat. I'm aware of the fact that there's nothing there when it comes to going up the staircase, so instead let's let's push onwards. Dragon jewel used. No items or anything like this. Okay, I need to go to the bottom to activate the switch if I want to get straight to shoot and dodgy boss battle. Hey, heck. See, like, this is where you get Divine Fragments as, as well, from those elite enemies. Not only in some as a reward for some missions, but from elite enemies as well. I believe I dropped at the right place. I 
only wish there was some kind of feature that... Oh, yeah, yeah, this place. Uh, that showed only cursed enemies, you know what I mean? Not Well, not only cursed enemies, but cursed enemies on the minimap. Okay. Better use hand cannon here. And just in case... We're gonna come over here. Oh my god, yeah, reactivate your key. What else is new? Okay, now the spider time. Don't, don't ever, don't even dare to make some kind of shenanigans against me like this. Hmm. Of course, I'm gonna go here first. Has to be more enemies on the second floor, as far as I'm aware. Yep, go here. I said go here. There's a hack and no other enemies around. Ah, uh, sure. Now let's get rid of this thing. To get the last dragon jewel. Oh yeah, champion kappa.
but he didn't give me any divine fragments. Unfortunate. Can you imagine if he would have grabbed me straight? So yeah, or was like, can you imagine if he would have grabbed me straight through the wall? That would have been so embarrassing. <laughs> In all due honesty. Okay. Big gucky. Wait. What? Instead of putting someone more sturdier to protect the shrine, they put regular gucky here? Weird. Dragon Jewel used onwards. Of course, here onwards do mean that you have to go backwards and then drop down to the area below you. To where the water was. Yep, exactly in this spot. Mm, who's the hostess? I mean, he's definitely not here. Otherwise, my compass would have been able to spot him. Oh wait, but I can pull the lever immediately. Just like in the other mission, yep. It's definitely not Gaki. I thought it was actually an enemy <laughs> for some reason. Boy, how I hate grabs. There's actually the host. Let me get rid of Gaki first. Okay, have it your way. <laughs> that was hilarious. At least something that I can use in terms of highlights. I need to find a way to get all to get back up, basically.
Stop with your silly command grabs. I can use also this enemy's soul core, even though it's not necessarily optimal in terms of doing... Um, inflicting saturated status on the enemies and doing water damage against them. Okay, that's not how you're supposed to get back up. I have to use... have to go the other way around. Right? Yeah, here is a dead end. Because the soul core that is recommended in the build template, which I'm attempt to follow by replicating it in my playthrough drops in the DLC area. I believe it's in the second one, you know, where the watery crabs had first appeared. At least in the first difficulty. Sarigama, again I almost fell, which is, would have been an unfortunate disaster here. He's above me, okay. Another Mimic. So what does he want? What? I don't even know what the hell is this pose is. I guess instead I will be collecting myself <laughs> some titles and soul cores from them by defeating them like this. Alright, this is how you get back up, yep. At least it's not like in the uh, one of the final missions, one of the final, in the final mission in main campaign where Gozuki appears and I accidentally knock him over the cliff in the water and didn't get any reward from it outside Amrita. Okay, back where I have, back where I'm started. Hmm. Should go back and restock at the shrine because there will be some a tough battle against Shoot and Dodgy. The thing is, when Shoot and Dodgy is uh, dropping on the ground, he has a wake up attack. So I don't know if it's worth it to use Water Sword against him in that instance. I'd say maybe. We shall see. Really? I have to go... Well, not necessarily every time, but... Still.
Such a tanky enemy. Still, I would have preferred to not fight him. Well, I guess it's in my best interest to kill, shoot, and dodge on this difficulty from my first try. Uh, Saki, of course. Tiger running, quick change, Ryu, barrier, water, armor, lighting. Here we go. I'm holding block, thank you. I was still holding block. And I died. <sighs> well, I can block this, but That's not it. He's never gonna get that far away. I mean, that far away. To me, like this, easily. Holding block.
dude. What am I doing? Can't just finish him off like this. Yes, raid boss. <laughs> but what did I expect? Admissions like 100 levels above me. Even under confusion, he was tanky as hell. Confusion and weakness didn't really. Well, it did its job, but like I like I have expected, it's not like super. Insane boost to my damage. Twilight mission changed, and now it's Mountain of the Dark Lord. Yeah, I guess I'll complete uh, that mission as well. First, let me level up. Two more levels towards my courage. And then let me visit also Blacksmith. I'm not aware that Holy X actually was dropping from Shoot and Dodge. I always thought that it's only the club. I guess I haven't studied the database when it comes to drop. Um, what's actually dropping? Plus 14? Really? I do not have anything that's higher than plus... 13, that's my weapon on plus 14. <sighs> Feels bad. What about armor? Same thing. Wow. So I, I only did it for... The sake of acquiring Cumbersite, I guess. Bullseye bonus. Mm. Can I roll attack bonus heart A on something more than my sword? Probably not. I mean, on armor, it's the stats are so so. I mean, I can try instead of oh, divine number sight. I don't even know where you where you actually supposed to get it. Wait a second. I I did collected some divine number sight. Why is it shows me? One out of zero. I remember cr precisely that one divine number side, at least one was dropping there. Huh? Weird. Okay, game, whatever you say. <laughs> uh, I cannot unlock the next region, right? Or can I? Wait, let me check it out. Nah. Still have to complete some more missions in this region to unlock the next one. Mausoleum of Evil, Golden Castle. The Bravest of the Brave. Divine Fragment 6-4, like, come on, like... Some enemies drop... Did I waste some of those Divine Fragments? Strange. Why I didn't get it? Maybe I need to free up the space in the storehouse or something like this. That looks strange. Oh, a mission where you have to fight the statue at the end, right? Yeah, pretty much.
Dude, stop running away from me. Oh my god. Now there's a stupid skeleton. Interesting, but where does the one drop? Where you actually... Where exactly you supposed to get one and the other? I guess the one drops from champions or when it comes to mission rewards, but what about the other ones? What? <laughs> really? Jesus Christ, then what am I doing completing... <laughs> uh, okay, okay. And the next difficulty, you say... Fair enough. Next difficulty. Yeah, great. Completed several Twilight missions. Or what? Just to know that those fragments are only available on the next difficulty. I don't like the fact that if you want to preemptively cancel your water sword skill, you know, this stuff. Unless you have Amrita for performing a burst counter, or you can transform into Yokai Shift, there's always going to be a follow-up attack at the end, which is strange in my opinion. Wait a second, uh, you are playing with Kusari Gama, uh, you also have a follow-up attack at the end of a uh, similar looking skill? You know when you're mul when you're doing this multi-hitting slash at the enemy, or you can cancel it at any time without using any meter or transforming yourself into yokai. We'll monk on the top. What? By saying nope, I'm assuming you can easily cancel it out anytime you want. Well, I guess some weapons definitely... <laughs> have their advantages and disadvantages no matter what other people might say uh, like yeah sure i i agree that every weapon is while viable excuse me viable yeah sure that's a word but the fact of the matter is some weapons are simply better than the others period in terms of range what how much damage are they doing by the way i cannot find a ladder that goes up I wasted, I'm wasting water talisman for no reason at all. Hold on. Where is it? Where's the freaking ladder? Dude, you serious? I guess I'm skipping this ladder and... Oh, wait. 
the ladder is going to be in the next encampment here. You just need to manually run around towards the hill and to the other side. Shut up. So instead of wait, well, actually, they still provide me with good amount of experience considering, like, uh, this particular mission is 80 levels above my character. So, I don't know, I... I'm doing definitely better compared to the previous stream in terms of my damage, but not super... But not overpowered by any means. Oh boy, there's like a cursed spider to my right. Whatever shall I do? Of course I'm just gonna pressure him to the death. big spider, bunch of small spiders. I guess this will protect my, myself from the big spider temporarily. Oh yes. All the purple stuff and none of the <laughs> greens at all. Mm. Yeah, I was thinking like who? Oh. Dude, come on, like... <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, great. <laughs> Just die already, what the... Cannot finish him off. Because of the stupid crystal. Unbelievable. 
Uh, our scaling A, still doing puny damage, yay. Against certain enemies. There's supposed to be a shrine, yep, there it is. No level up for me. Fine. Whoops. Miscalculated a bit my shots. Uh, there's an enemy on top of the hill, but I, I believe he cannot target me from where I'm currently in standing. So I'm in a relative safety. Except against Snakehead. Wasted a lot of shots. Don't have key to perform water sword. Okay, now I do. Water sword technique, I mean. Much rather fight this ghost first. Come from, huh? Okay, much better. Worry, I'll get my soul core. Well, my enemy soul core. I haven't seen him. Oh, yeah, because of the corruption, uh, he didn't actually showed up on my minimap. Uh, You're kidding, right? You can grab me out of... Not worth it against them. I like that he can grab me straight out of Gozuki animation, like, as soon as this ends, considering that I don't have a means to dodge immediately afterwards. <laughs> Yes, this game is well thought out in when it comes to combat system. Of course it's not. Gonna go kill Aberrant Soldier quickly. No.
I was holding block <laughs> for some reason it still hit me Okay, who's next? Nah. By the way, the gap is big enough so you can actually intercept her attacks with your light ones. At least when it comes to dual swords, I imagine things are gonna be just as just the same with Tonfas or Fists. Uh, oh boy, yeah, I have to go all the way around again. Because I was dropping down. Fine, fine. It's not gonna take me too long to do it. Like, I'm telling you, with every positive aspect that you have in Neo 2 over Neo 1, there's like 5, 6, 7 negatives that they have added, I don't know, intentionally or not. I don't even know why I'm collecting, keep collecting this blue gear, to be honest. Mm, probably there's like a loot filter which you can activate so that it will show you exclusively uh, just green stuff, orange stuff. He's not gonna attack me all the way. No, he will. Shall I go through the bottom or the center? The center, there's like... Never mind, I'll go to the bottom. One big gaki down, or enemies to go. Maybe this is what you're supposed to do with the swords, but then again, what about spinning dragon? Hmm. Beats me. Uh, it's too early to go to the top because I still haven't destroyed the crystal in this cave. So let's find it and smash it. There it is. Protected only by one enemy, surprisingly enough. One down. By the sound of it, I actually assume that one enemy will aggro towards me. Like, will go directly to me. I guess I was wrong. Or not. Ah, 
I don't really care about those Sudamas. Let's go to the camp. Uh, that's the place where you... I was about to say this is the place where you're supposed to be fighting not only this giant skeleton with an axe, but a couple of skeleton with rifles, but it's in the main mission, not in the Twilight one. Okay. I'll still go here and open up a shortcut. Just in case, as well as collect this loot. Um, Kilabaran soldiers? Yeah, sure. Because they are annoying. So, who was on the bridge? I guess I'll about to find out. On the previous difficulty, it was Snowclops, as far as I'm aware. Uh, dude! Chill. It's kind of ironic that my brother actually tried to play Kusarigama just like I was trying, just like I was playing with Dual Source right now, but I believe he mentioned that he that skill was nerfed in the second Neo or something like this. And right now I'm using it with Dual Source, but the play style stays the same. <laughs> it works well only against... I didn't mean to fall down, whoops. It works well against only against some enemies, not against all of them. Mm, of course. Can you go closer, please? Also, I don't know whether this particular skill is going to be useful against statue boss at the very end. I only can say maybe? Mm. Oh yeah, two skeletons. How, how could I forget about them? Nice try. Wait a minute, why isn't... why haven't I finished Yokai? Oh, it's only... this grab works only against human. You're telling they decided to add more pushback on it, but... This? Looks exactly the same as the skill that my brother is using with Kusarigama. <laughs> why they added pushback on that skill, but not on this skill? Maybe? They did, but it's it's not really noticeable on some enemies. Who knows? Strange. Anyway, that's strange. 
Okay, the final encampment. So much for Red Kappa Hunter title. I'm getting attacked by somebody? Nah. Yeah, but like this snake lady isn't a giant target. I guess, you know, it not, it's not necessarily depends on whether the monster is a giant target or not. It more so depends on the fact that um, how much range your weapon is covering so my dual source covering decent amount of range of course it's not great maybe it's just bigger than kusarigama so the pushback isn't really that noticeable and this allows me to land more hit on the enemies when i'm using uh, water source skill in your case because the kusarigama doesn't cover as much range uh, this is when the pushback becomes uh, starts to become more noticeable uh, that's my opinion i don't know whether it's a fact or not anyway Mm, let's go to the top. Just in case. There there has to be a second aberrant soldier. Ow, what the? So this is who I grew towards me. You f... Get out of here. Like, it wouldn't have been worth it to use Water Sword against the full extent of it against this enemy in, in this case. Because our Kuryobi tend to get up actually rather quickly. Question is, do I need to go down or just go straight to the boss? I think I'll go straight to the boss, considering from what I have realized that those fragments are undropping on this difficulty. Jesus Christ, like so many variables. Such an overcomplicated thing just because it wants to be complicated. All right. Um, enough talk. Tiger running. This, 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 this. This, 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 let's go.
course. was going to go for the yokai shift execute i guess it didn't work instead i <laughs> was shooting with him shooting at him with lesser mibosa's all core ability yeah like the damage increases there but again it's not like super insane hit him with a water sword hit him multiple times with confusion you clearly see that it could have been better or maybe I'm expecting too much from this difficulty and from the gear that I'm currently wearing. Who knows? Anyway, I got the Soul Core, got more experience to level up my stats, which I'm about to do. Two more into Courage. I'll check the Blacksmith quickly in terms of what or can I even buy something? Yeah, hand cannon. Not necessarily hand cannon, but rifle ammunition. And... Okay. Cell match. Nothing higher than plus 14 again. Before cell matching, I'll change up my equipment when it comes to ranged weapons. Oh, this one isn't the same. What about matchlock? This is better, but it's a purple one. I'd rather wait for it to be a green one. Can I get another type of Magatama, which is better than mine? Probably not. This thing buffs water damage. The hell is... When you absorb Amrita, the Amrita Gotch feels faster. Hmm. More active skill damage. Nah, I'll leave everything like this for now. Alright. The bravest of the brave. Let's go. Oh, wait, wait. How? There isn't enough space in my... Maybe... How do you exit the storehouse again? It's not from this menu, right? You have to be here. No, at the shrine, right? Is it on the shrine? Nah. Hot storehouse. Yeah. So what I don't need, like, to free up my space. Maybe I don't need this yokai water pot. Weapons. Move to the box. I don't need those. Why am I keep collecting? Oh, yeah, that's when I tried to help out my, my brother in giving him items that he actually wanted. All items.
Do I even need so many gunpowder bombs? What exactly is actually, like, preventing me from collecting more items? It's not crafting material, that's for sure, because it, it doesn't show here, like, smithing material. Maybe I'll get rid of... You cannot carry any more. Maybe it's not the problem in terms of the storehouse. I just need to sell it from my personal inventory. Hold on, hold on a second. Let me actually check this quickly. Equipment. Select. So I wish to select those stuff and sell it. Yeah, but that's all fine and well. This is, isn't gonna free up my space tremendously. Weapon sword, dual sword. Usable items, okay. Let's sell all the sticky pots. Um, 99 stones. Who needs those? I beats me. Wet stones. Stupid signpost amulet, shrapnel bombs. Mm. Sell them as well. Sell this. Dung ball. Powder. Mud jar. Amulet of camaraderie. Like, maybe this is the stuff that actually prevents me from collecting more items when it comes to when I'm disassembling them. Tea set, yeah, that's also the, something that I wish to sell. No, not lock. Select everything except green ones. I won't touch any crafting materials. Wait a second, it says all items, just any of it. Why do I need this regular Magatama? Sacred arrows don't need any of this. This should free up my space. So that I will be able to get more items when I when the next time I'll visit the blacksmith and start to disassemble them. Right. Bravest of the brave. Here we go. It's such a shame that Umbro side that I actually wanted to try out drops only on the Dream of the Wise difficulty. <laughs> and I'm sitting here in Dream of the Demon for the third part already. Well, I guess I'm not sitting in Wayne. I'm improving my damage and tankiness but still
Chop Chop. It's not over yet. I want to kill this Aberrant Soldier badly. I mean, it was a skeleton, it wasn't an Aberrant Soldier. Yo, enough of those drop kicks. It's the final wave, yep. In this gauntlet, it was the final wave. And it's a free... I believe there will be no other encounters all the way until the next arena. I could be wrong. I, I do know that there is like a hot spring here. What do you mean? What are you thinking? I'm receiving a buff, which will replenish my health periodically. What's up with you? Let me get rid of the skeleton first. Then there's also a stupid dweller. Okay, he won't disturb us. Now it's like a full attention to him. Dude! Why did he drop down here? Eh, whatever. Should I get Scampus now? Yeah, maybe. I don't even remember why you need this shield. Oh yeah, like there was like there's like there's one house that requires from you to have a jailer key before you can open it. And that's pretty much it. Go 
gladly I came out to another arena. Right. Mm, same deal. He's dead. I'm time to finish off the hack. Really? I slash in front of his face and nothing happens. <laughs> Had enough? Yep, he did. Take that back, I also have this pushback, but like I have assumed, it mostly depends on the fact that your dual source covers greater range, well, slightly more range compared to... Uh... Compares to Kusarigama with the same skill. Should have an edge over him even like this. Or you know what? Let's pray at the shrine. I restock my own new magic. Shifting, yep, Lichkin. Oh yeah, I remember that sometimes this mission is actually bugs out. Um wait, what what? Have it your way. a bit. Give me my anima. Yay!
<laughs> Slashing back or still kill him. All right, it's not been bugging out. I do have the highlight which shows out the bug that happens in this mission. You can check it out. Either it's, I, I don't remember, either it's, either it's on the YouTube channel or on my Facebook or Twitter. One of the three. It shows out that when you actually complete this mission, it the game freezes and doesn't show up the dialogue, so you have to restart the whole fight against him. From the very beginning. Alright. Send that letter. I believe some passives I actually missed when it comes to dual swords, like I respect before today's stream. Uh, I got passage to the outer life, armor piercer, yeah, that's correct, touchy arts. Mm, let me see. Nah, that's only when hell drops below. Shadow strike, I don't plan to use it. I'm not um, getting behind enemies back too often. Uh, same thing with here, heavenly flow. Oh, never mind, everything. Looks correct. Oh yeah, another gauntlet. I should have switched to different target, please. God for invulnerability frames. I believe it's still not over. I will screw you. No. <laughs> Jesus, even when slowed down, the speed is not enough. Now it's over. That's where you need Feral Counter, ladies and gentlemen. You cannot <laughs> consistently rely all the time only on Brute Counter. I mean, in theory you could, but it requires like insane reaction from you. More like making a read 99 in most of the cases. Really? Wait a second. This ain't right.
Okay, one dweller goes down, the other one is soon gonna follow. Um, who's shooting me again? Skeleton to my right. Now it's a skeleton to my right. No, there was a third one. Ow. Okay. Got all of them. Uh, that was a bad idea to drop down. I let the big dweller simply stroll away from me. Okay, am I clear? Mm, sort of. There's still another enemy directly behind this. Against them, it's kind of pointless to do water sword. It's better to use this because the wake up attack is fast. Yes, all the hits will be landing on them, but considering how fast they're waking up, better not use it, better not risk it. That's supposed to be a one-shot. I don't know why he didn't die. Okay, you... How can I get... Oh, from the other side. Right, right. Strangely enough, there is no <laughs> overwhelming amount of elixirs from the enemies. I should have used water sword. <laughs> you pesky bird. Wake up attack. No.
more scrolls of the demon yeah as if the only scrolls that contain ultimate attribute parameters are dropping from dream of the wise you cannot get them from dream of the demon sadly Oh, and it's not over yet. There's still some enemies left. Stupid rat. Died. <laughs> um, wait, what? Uh, it's not one of the. F I guess it's lesser on Mibozu. Or Dweller. Any options is perfectly in perfectly fine for me. Uh, how do you get up? This is where you get up. By the way, yeah, i completely aware of the fact that weakness doesn't last a very long time on the enemies. Unless you pump up magic stats. Magic attribute, excuse me. Uh. Ow. Thanks for extra elixir. Do, 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 do. Aberrant? Yeah, there he is. Dude, there's like three enemies to my right. Who are they? I mean, this is Gaki, but... What about the rest of the squad? Map literally showed me three enemies out there. Gaki drew. Oh, they are eating Dweller. Eh. Oh yeah, I haven't been at the bottom below this particular place. This is why I was kind of surprised by it. See? Perfectly fine to intercept. this my bad sorry <sighs> I cannot do this in time failed
One sign of the cross, execute. Hammer smash. <laughs> yeah, have it your way. She definitely had her fun, I can tell you this. How much, like, two times she grabbed me. I fell for it, well, technically. I will level up a second time, let me actually use... Um, one of my consumable. The one that gives more... I'm Rita. Could if I want to use everything else to level up third time, but that's fine. I don't remember that here is like two campuses at once. I'll save them for the next encounter, I guess. Or I well, next encounter is already at the doorstep, so let's grab them, grab them with me, both at once. It's gonna be useful for building my anima gauge. Right. Mm. Yep. He goes down. I need to move fast. That was a mistake, I shouldn't have used an execute. your silly grabs. Oh, the mission is over. <laughs> My bad. I was preparing to face like a mini boss of some sort at the very end. So you have hyper armor when you're doing your water sword skill. That's also something good to know in terms of mechanics. At least when you're wearing heavy armor, of course. Right, saving up. No. Keep pumping this courage stat. Um, yeah, sure, I'll check the blacksmith, but honestly, in this region, there's not gonna be anything better than plus 14. Yeah, told you. When it comes to armor, let's see. Oh, wait, I take that back. When it comes to armor, I do have certain set pieces that can boost my own defense. Hold on, hold on. Uh, let's start with... 
chest guard. Then I'll switch to gloves. Then pants. Right, and I can level up boots all the way to plus 14. And it's an it's this is it, right? Yep. No more stuff when it comes to armor. Soul matching. Tempering cause discount. Almost maxed this out. Disassemble. Again, this isn't enough space in, in in my inventory. What do you want me to do? Sell common? Crafting materials, maybe? But the question is, do I need them later? That's something that I don't know. Roaming Cartisan and Mataza of the Spear. I will, let's go with Mataza of the Spear. That's a boss fight. It's a pretty easy... Pretty easy and quick mission to do. What am I? I'm dumb. Skill. Dude, there's like tons of... When he's doing this multi-hitting stuff, it's better for you to just hold block. Also, let's not screw up with my lighting familiar this time around. Uh... Yep. 
Wait, what? My turn. Feral counter for this on this difficulty. Does look like it. To counter the follow-up burst attack, you definitely need Feral Counter. You cannot go away with Brute Counter this time around. <laughs> okay, Matazza of the Spear completed, and now I'm gonna go to the Roaming Artisan mission. Oh! Never mind. Everything has been unlocked. When it comes to additional like DLC regions. Okay, Fabled Umberside, Divine Fragment, but not Divine Umberside. Which is unfortunate. Bunch of stuff unlocked in Dojo, but the truth of the matter is I don't need any of this, that's like too much. So in theory I can go to the region where you're supposed to fight against William. Fight him and then fight Otakimaru. Probably this is something that I would do. Uh, afterglow. Uh, yeah, the blue-eyed samurai. Before going to Otakimaru, I would like to craft some extra sakes for myself. Is this even a word? Sake? Extra sake for myself. <laughs> sakes. No cheesing, right? As if yep. 
That's a new move. Whoa, whoa, what? Uh, living weapon, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it does. Now I know what it do. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to heal myself and rebuff. No. All right, mission completed. So he only ha he only he has two new moves. One when he jumps in the air and then it's a burst counterable attack, but I failed at it. And the other one, what? Well, actually, no more moves. Like when he uh, has the spinning attack with the weapon. When he applies the water effect onto it. Additionally, there is another buff when the original spirit helps him. There's also burst counterable attack, but why I was too far away from him in an attempt to rebuff myself. Of course, when it comes to what you call it, how much health and defense he got on this new difficulty, it's self-explanatory that he has a lot of it. <laughs> Level up, more courage. What about blacksmith specifically? Well, I, I will give her the recipe for the Tonfa weapon. But I'm mostly interested in components components and gear that I have. Plus 14. When it comes to armor, let's see. Eh. Still a lackluster thing. Right, then I guess into the Eye of the Beholder, but wait, before going there, I remember. Sakia. So, yeah. Tools. this one should be more than enough when it comes to final mission on this dream of the demon difficulty in the eye of the beholder yep interesting what kind of new moves Atakimaru will have join horses with Mumio then I'm gonna join horses with William. You all set. Let's go. Yep, let's go. Still have to get to the bottom of this right at the very beginning. I wonder, can I actually do the same thing to them? Ah, uh, no. Oh, because it was a cursed enemy. One goes down. I almost lost to this one. Follow up. Don't let the side down. Weird, weird thing to see from... A person who lost this encounter to a yokai. <laughs> Wait, what? Why can I search him? There we go. Mm, 
and I don't want to use the ladder right now. I'd rather go all the way around. Tengu warrior, but by himself or not? gonna rebuff and yeah and then he's gonna die falling into the water <laughs> right let's immediately go and press the switch is it here uh no it's on the other side There's the switch. It's a dead end over here. But we need to go on the other side anyway. To get all to get back up. Morons, what about helping me? <laughs> Dude. Again it fell. Oh, come on. Why does it keep falling into the water? I want to get loot from it. <laughs> eh, that's ridiculous. I buffed. Like there's... What? Look at what's happening upstairs. And no loot from me. For me. We actually managed to get all the way upstairs. Great. Uh, now to go to the other side. I'll pray at the shrine. No, 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 no. More into courage. I wonder what it will result into when I'm when I will be fighting lightning gods of Hyomi on higher difficulties like Dream of the Wise or even Dream of the Neo. Mm, I'm going in the wrong direction. I need to drop down and then exit on the balcony. Uh, that's not it. That's the right place. Or is it? Uh, nah, it's not the case. Not the right place. It's just the place where you could enter the hot spring. I didn't miss a turn. It's just... 
hard to navigate through all of this mess. Mm. Hold on. There has to, has to be more enemies. Yep. guy definitely now considering he was the host no surprise there uh right i'm still in the wrong spot though <laughs> Wait a minute, what do you mean Tengu appeared again? Huh? We actually... been here before like i don't know what's up with the second wave of enemies all of a sudden cannot go anywhere from here strange very strange from my point of view to go up there somehow This is gonna lead me back on the balcony, right? Oh, because I... Yeah, because I activated the shrine. I thought the Tango Warrior and the rest of the squad is gonna disappear by themselves afterwards. Like, you won't have to kill them again. Not the case. to go over there somehow. Yeah, like in this direction. But is this the right spot? Oh wait, there's a cursed enemy here.
yourself. Almost died to them, which would have been unfortunate. This is how you come to the other side. Got it. Scampus? Yeah, sure. Let's get one, let's get one with us. I did burst counter. Great. Sometimes the range on the brute burst counter surprises me, sometimes it literally disappoints me. I don't know what's best what, what's best to say about it. Um I will show no mercy. We will show no mercy. I don't know why I pop demon there, simply because I have seen that one of the rats were going to grab me and kill me. Huh? What? So I decided not to risk it. As simple as that. Mm. I think we can go and kill Gozuki. I believe I made the right call because otherwise you like Gozuki disappears if you go on top and destroy the crystal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get to you as well. Still amazed at the fact that that Abron soldier aggroed from the second floor, dropped down by himself and ran straight towards us. Clever AI. Another rat.
Wait, what? sudden they stopped <laughs> let me handle the kill I guess all right three levels into courage great mm, hold on I have to get rid of Aberrant Soldier first. Yeah, like this. <laughs> I dodged and I still get grabbed. No, that was a mistake. was a mistake for sure. Let's collect the loot from the battlefield. Mm, no, I'm gonna go to the right first. If I can, though. There had to be... Wasn't there supposed to be a ladder here that allows you to go up immediately? Uh, I guess later. By the way, in the previous difficulty, there was a red kappa here. Tango Warrior? No. I shouldn't have done this. I was actually blocking what Yes, I blocked and that was unfortunate trait at the end. Whoops. Also, the second AI partner literally uh, was standing behind, not doing anything. Uh, hold on. Oh, 
Oh yeah, aberrant soldier. Okay, this time around let's actually go to the right first. Ah, uh, it really doesn't matter. making a circle. Yeah, I told you there was a ladder here. I wasn't making this up. Now there's gonna be two aberrant soldiers back to back. Cursed one has been defeated. What about the other one? And the other ones soon fall. Alright, alright. Now I have to go all the way back to the top. Fine. And I think I'm going in the wrong direction. Takimaru time. Um, always Sake. Quick change. Quick change. Quick change scroll. Here I go. Wish me luck, Takimaru, and dream of the demon. I'm okay. What? Dude, I only...
Nah, no, of course not. Jesus, that's that's unblockable. Three hits, not one. One hit. I got him. Kill the Takemaru on Dream of the Demon difficulty. Of course, it took more healing potions. Uh. He had some new... Candlestick Slicer and Rich Sword. He had some new moves, but... I'd say it's more or less on how do you time it right. Especially with Water Sword, I screwed up big time in one occasion. And in the uh, second phase, when he switched to... Well, quote-unquote second phase, when he switched to Dual Swords, I got hit a lot by the unblockable Fireball. You cannot block... You can, I mean... Uh, you cannot be just holding block and hope for the best, you have to dodge it, and when it comes to this triple attack watery spell. But in all the other regards, it wasn't so bad, I'd say. Fingers crossed it would be the same... I wouldn't have... I would have the same easy time, I'd say, quote-unquote easy, of course against Iboshi on the higher difficulties. Because <laughs> I'm planning to go on Dream of the Wise right now. Later on, once you who are watching this right now, or will rewatch some parts later as a video on demand format, I will rename this part as Dream of the Demon like final part and Dream of the Wise slash part one, something like this. I got also Magatama from it. I wonder what... Dream of the Wise, yep, yeah, has been unlocked. Dream of the Wise, let's go towards it. Uh, save up 389, already orange gear. Level and stat limits for your character has been increased. Okay, this means that I will put the rest of the stuff towards heart up until it gets to 150, and then I'm gonna be returning back to Courage. Let's see about this Magatama. Oh yeah, definitely way better. <laughs> I, I even got a better writing set, believe it or not. Well, defense is worse, but... Yeah, and the fact that it has Kadama Sensor, nah, I take it back, it's not better. <laughs> right, to the Blacksmith. Well, first, hold on, hold on, let me actually use all those Spirit Stones. Maybe I can squeeze one le extra level up from here. Before I'm gonna go towards the first mission on um, the Dream of the Demon difficulty. Dream of the Wise, excuse me. Okay. Uh, probably one more extra level. Yep.
Let's visit the blacksmith. Okay. I had the two will swords that one eye dragon ambition. I'm ready to sensor melee damage key. Damage bonus consecutive attacks, huh? Increases damage with each consecutive successful hit. The hit count resets with chain when the chain of attacks ends. What do you mean A? By how much it increases it? I guess it scales? Consecutive attacks A? Um, strange. Wait, there was something else? Nah. Oh, or, or is it? Fists. And this is it. Right. Soul matching. Everything here is worse than mine. And what about armor? Uh, same thing. It's worse than mine. I wonder... Here's the thing that I don't quite realize about the mechanic. Like, let's say I'm gonna equip this sword in my second weapon slot. Will I receive those bonuses, like plus melee damage in Ari's Grace and so on and so forth, if it just sits there in the second slot? Or not? I'm not talking about attack, I'm talking about this imbue purity, melee kick, uh, key consumption, gold earn, melee damage. I'll try. Like, let's lock it in. Um, the rest. Like, let me put it on the second. Why is it show still? Wait a minute. I haven't disassembled it? It can be. So I'll put it like this, right? I'll unlock it. Um. What's up with the armor that I have? I actually... Okay. Now I disassembled everything. Cannot buy any of the ammunition. Except for this stuff. Right, let's try out the village of Cursed Blossoms on the Dream of the Wise difficulty. So I need to look out for the Master Sourceman set from the orange variety. Got it. Again, I won't touch any of those Revenant Graves. Uh, that's a hag there. I believe that's a hellish hag. Hellish hag and Gaki. Well, they are faster than before. Can I fight only against you? got her, but no orange drops, unfortunately. Next is Gaki. You stupid Gaki, come here. Got him. 
Now there's gonna be time to fight against Kozuki. Incredibly tanky. Got him. Wow, one orange height. <laughs> Only one. Of course, in the first mission, I'll try to fight as many enemies as possible uh, to increase the chances of acquiring orange set pieces, even if they are not uh, the stuff that I'm currently looking, it'd still be alright uh, to have some of them, to disassemble them later. Okay, Hellish Hack, second one, instead of a regular enemy. That was worse than expected. Well, I took some unnecessary hits because my timing with the strikes and blocking was way off. Uh, way off than usual. I hear Gaki, but... Cannot engage with any of them from this angle. No.
What a raid boss. No, 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 get here. I don't want to fight you and bandits. Why isn't he attacking? Now he attacks. He was dancing around me for 20 seconds nonstop. <laughs> I think it's against Gakis, it's more uh, justified for me to go for 2 divine uh, sign of the cross, excuse me. Because they, well, the pacing of the game is keep getting faster and those Gakis are loved to use those pulls. And with sign of the cross it's easier to avoid them while simultaneously doing damage to them. When they are dropping on the floor or when their key is out. And there's supposed to be another one? Yeah, there he is. Ah, failed. So my brother was uh, actually telling me that once you are at this difficulty, um, you'll start collecting green sets that are more... Oh yeah, plus 18, that's definitely way better compared to mine. Sure. It also... What, what does this grace soul match mean? It means when I'm soul matching this with my items, it has... Wait a second, has two, two graces? When I soul match this, I'll transfer the star effect to my weapon, right? Why well, I can see what does this do? Use the piece of equipment as a material in soul matching and its grace effect will be transferred to the base equipment. However, the base equipment must be of divine rarity or above. Yeah, it's all final one, but, but what does it do? Grace inheritance soul match. Is it gonna transfer the Benzaiten grace? Oh yeah, that's what it does. Okay, got it. It's not something that I need in terms of my build, but nice to know how it works. Right, let's go towards bandits this time around. Or... never mind. Gaki aggro towards me, but not the rat. care about your poisonous fart at all. I'm also collecting orange soul cores, which is a more pow powerful version uh, compared to the regular ones. Yeah, all I'm doing basically is moving backwards. It's one of one actually one bandit there is a regular one, the other one is improved.
it just me or it, did it die two times <laughs> straight? Oh, wait a second. I forgot to grab the item from the bridge. My bad. Was so focused on dealing with all of them, I forgot to look, check some corpses here. Some of them do tend to give you greens or orange items. I'll improve my green items so, until I get my hands on some orange items. Okay, so everything from the right has been cleared, and now I'm ready to go to the village. Three level ups. Can go there. Time to shoot those. Uh, that's not great. I'm fine with dealing with two bandits with axes. Expert dual swordsman. Yay! More key recovery speed. Good synergy with my courage parameter. Can go there, so let's go directly into this village. Wait a minute, I forgot to unlock the door. Uh, how can I get to it from the other side? I think I should be able to get to that door from this place. Yeah, yeah, I remember that guy from on the rooftop. Now he has it. On the Dream of the Demon difficulty, he was shooting me with rifle, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, village cemetery key. That's what I have forgotten to open. To unlock. I also... No, I didn't forget to kill this bandit. That's already... Uh, I'm... I'm <laughs> Keep thinking that I haven't been there. For some reason. Mm, should I use hand cannon here? Ah, uh, no. It's a snake head. Pointless. What about the other guy? I think he's below me. Kick the ladder down. Let's descend, grab the item. Obviously, he didn't like it. <laughs> that beat down. That's always gonna be a mimic here. So, what does he want? Is it just me or those gestures uh, that they are trying to 
make you utilize are the ones that you are currently selecting selected on the screen like this. Hmm. Haven't think about this aspect. I may be I may simply make things up the more I play it. Maybe it's not the case at all. Just felt this way. Hey, what do you mean I haven't been on at the back of this house? Really? Oh well. Let's switch to regular ammo. Goodbye, bandit. Oh, I got scroll of the wise. Interesting. Uh, let me see. Extended dodge and vulnerability. Eh. I'm saying this, like from the negative standpoint, but I actually don't think you can guess whether or not the scroll has some ultimate parameters on it. Like, you have to clear it and then it will be revealed what kind of parameters the scroll will actually have. Nah, it's, let's... Just heal, kill him with the old-fashioned way. Okay, previously this this passage was protected by a cursed enemy. So I'm guessing it's going to be the same this time around. However, I do want to go inside. I remember that there there's like a one Gaki there. Two of them, actually. Oh, this time it's not Gaki. It's a snake head. By the sinning. It's not a snake hat, it's the wing. I guess I had found out the optimal tactics against her if she doesn't have any way of retreating. <laughs> I'd say so far this first mission isn't too difficult. I mean, yeah, sure, it's challenging, but it's manageable. Oh yeah, it was totally worth it to get here just to grab myself gunpowder bombs. Right. Yeah, the pushback is still there. Orange gear, not fair. All right, let's open up this shortcut, and then it's a, like freeway to the temple. Also, the more you put those points into the, uh, these kind of stats, the better your damage will be, well, because of the scaling parameter that I have on, uh, on my dual swords, right? Where is it? 
Yeah, attack bonus, heart, A. Was trying to play with him for some reason, don't know why. I don't want to summon any Revenant Graves. I got orange dual katanas. Uh, is it better than mine? Mm, what does block star? Oh, break and block, excuse me. Grace of Kagatsuchi, two pieces. Yeah, it's all fine and well, but it's, it cannot be transferred. Also, it's worse than mine. Even on plus 17, it's worse. <laughs> Please tell me that there will be no bug, which includes me try like not being able to defeat Gozuki because he dies from damage over time effect rather than from an animation when your main character transforms into Yokai. Because I don't want to repeat the same boss fight twice. Hellish Hack Champion, okay. her but obviously she's not the host also yeah it wasn't a gaki who threw something at me i mistook him for an enemy that was disturbing me right uh... isn't there supposed to be a second one to my right Guess not this time. Had some healing action going on, All right? I obviously wish to lure her to me because I know that inside this temple there's another. There's like this freaking monkey. Uh. Why doesn't she have anything? Why? It's a glitch? Wait a second, is it a glitch? It's a visual glitch, she doesn't have anything in her hands. It's a glitch or I... like... Pointless to shoot her then. Okay. No, you won't get here.
Ah, I failed my... <laughs> Should have done something else. This is what I should have done. <laughs> you silly woman! Don't you don't understand? It's your time to die already. Stinking command grabs. Right, now it's time to fight that monkey over there. This time I can use all of my resources to make it faster. Now let's go to fight Mezuki and be done with the first mission on this difficulty. Also, this is this that would be the good timing as well to wrap up the stream also for today. Of course I'm gonna level up beforehand. Open sesame. There's no need to use Sakia in this fight. That's not the right thing to do. Dude, this tracking system with the grab, like, it makes me sick. It physically makes me sick. still get to you no matter what. Eh, that's that's fine.
Wait, what? Why is it not? I guess I'm mashing. <laughs> smashing there. Probably the easiest boss fight <laughs> throughout the entire game for me, at least. Okay, okay, let me out of here. The mission is completed already. There we go. And the mission, let's move onwards. I'm eager to see what kind of loot I will get. I mean, throughout the whole mission, of course. Divine Umber Sight. This is where you actually get it on the next difficulty. Okay, okay, my brother. Uh, so, actually... One of the viewers was correct in terms of assuming that, actually, that it drops. Well, assuming, telling me that it's only available on the next difficulty, this Divine Umber Sight thing. Right. Uh, blacksmith. Soul Match. Wow, like, plus 18, but... Where's my own dual swords? Yep, there they are. Bloodsucker and spider cut. <laughs> Up until the point I will get the orange bamboo cutter and bone feaster, I will gonna be improving my own gear, my own green equipment. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Start with this, of course. Even further, yep. Then it's gonna be on plus. Uh, that's not gonna do it. Uh, 
plus 17. That's gonna be plus 18 already. Grass inheritance so much. Let's see. I, I don't mind having this green inheritance grace on me, so... Wait. Wait a second. It says that the soul match would actually transfer it. Why I'm not seeing the grace on my gear? Huh? What? I don't understand how this works. It said that it would transfer it to my own set of equipment. It was a green thing. Beats me. What I did wrong there. <laughs> Uh. Orange doesn't work only... Oh, wait a second. Orange works too. Uh, but I want to disassemble orange. I don't want to use it as the way to improve my green stuff. So the weapon is at plus... 19. I cannot get it to plus 20. Uh, what about armor? Damn, plus 21. Oh boy. Okay, let's do it one by one. Starting from the stuff at the bottom. Same thing, until I get my hands on Master Swordsman orange set, I will be improving. My green one. At plus 15. Extended curse nullification, guardian spirit skill damage. Again, like, how do you transfer those star effects? On the other side. I guess you need orange on orange. Like only works like this. Wait. Where's my own gloves? There they are. At plus 15. Now boots. And again, starting all the way back from the helmet. Most of the stuff that I got when it comes to gear improvement came from gloves. I wonder why why it's the why is that the case? Why I'm always collecting tons of gloves but rarely collecting high quantities of chest guard, pants, helmets, or so on and so forth. Okay, at plus 16, uh, let's pump it up even higher to plus 17. I like to do this equally across all the uh, pieces of equipment, that's why I'm not rushing to just boost one uh, piece of it. Whoops, I'm not finished. And that's all the rewards that I have gotten from the very first mission, ironically enough. 
can even get it to plus 18, I believe. Yep, I can. <laughs> Especially gloves. Gonna get also those points to use them as a discount. That's plus 18, plus 18. Let's work on the leg guards. And then boots. Returning back to the helmet. Orange also works. Strangely enough, orange also works. To in terms of improving your own pieces of equipment. Yeah, see? Maybe I'll try it out, okay. No. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. Oh, wait, I'm... Look at the gold! <laughs> Hello! No gold! Damn! Yeesh! I guess that's the time when, when you need to select the blessings of actually collecting gold instead of Amrita. What do you mean I want to know more about ethereal items? Yeah, I already know. Soul matching discount. Tempering, and then I'll work on soul matching discount. Damn, no gold. Let's disassemble the rest of the stuff then. Yeah, and, I, and then I thought, uh, then I, at the last moment, remembered that there was actually some rifle and ammo that I wanted to look at. Alright. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be it for today's stream. I would want to thank everyone who was watching it. Whether you watched it at the beginning, tuned in at the middle, or at the end, doesn't really matter. As long as you had some fun and get some entertainment out of it or some useful information, I am more than satisfied with this. If you want to rewatch a particular part from today's stream or from any previous streams, you might do so here in the video on demand format. At this Twitch page channel, you can also watch, um, for those of you who haven't had a chance to watch uh, the playthrough, blind playthrough from the very beginning, my own playthrough with heavy armor and axe, and later on I switch to dual swords, or my brother's playthrough with light armor and kusarigama. I'm inviting you to Mighty Broski YouTube channel, link to which you'll find below the Twitch tab player. As well as on uh, the YouTube channel, you'll find some highlights from my playthrough, focusing mostly on boss battles and their mechanics before the fight and right after the fight. On our YouTube channel you will find also tons of entertaining stuff like playthroughs, highlights, guides and so on and so forth. Uh, something that keeps you entertained and something that you can watch before you wait for the next stream to happen. Speaking of next stream, it's going to be happening on Wednesday next week from 8 to 12 a.m. Eastern European time as usual, UTC plus 2. However, until that point, I will be uploading at least 2 to 3 um, stream video on demand parts on Mighty Broski YouTube channel, both from my playthrough and my brother playthrough, as well as two highlights. One of the highlights I will be uploading tomorrow on Sunday, and the other highlights will be, will be uploaded, I believe, either on the um, Tuesday, on the Tuesday evening or on the Wednesday early morning. So you will definitely have more content from us before the next stream is going to occur. 
Additionally, if you wish to stay up to date with everything related to the news that we are sharing and also watch exclusive content as well as have the opportunity to contact us directly, I would recommend you to follow either on our, one of our social pages, Facebook or Twitter, whatever is more comfortable for you. And finally, if you wish to show any kind of appreciation and support in different forms, you can do so by following few simple steps, becoming a follower on Twitch and subscribing on YouTube, share the videos, sharing the videos and leaving a like to them helps tremendously. And finally, consider becoming a subscriber on Twitch or a Patreon and receiving for yourselves tons of useful bonuses, which you can, uh, which also going to be an extra motivator for us and we'll continue to work as hard as possible to provide you with the best content that we could possibly offer. All right, with that being said, again, I appreciate all of you who had tuned in during today's stream. Thanks for your attention. Thanks for your participation. I wish you all the best. Stay sound, stay healthy and cheerful. Take care of each other. My name was Alexander, also on the Sandra Yates, and we'll be seeing you all guys on the next stream. Bye and have a great weekend. See you guys.